In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to get to wave 132 on endless mode in Toilet Tower Defense. This is the first solo strategy to be the best for endless mode, and Purple and I created it through multiple failed attempts. So obviously his link will be in the description. Also, join my friend's Discord server as he hosts giveaways and challenges for free units almost weekly, so his link will also be in the description. This strategy does require you to be at least rank 7, but I recommend being rank 8. If you want to learn how to get max rank in under a day, check out this video right here. But anyway, the 6 units want to bring for this match is Santa, Hyper, Astro, Mewing TV, DJ TV, and finally Leprechaun. But before we begin, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because I'm trying to hit 100,000 subs by the end of the year. Definitely do that if you want more tutorials like this one. Anyway, without any more waiting, here we go. As soon as you load in, you're going to want to press skip and then you can also turn on auto skip. And you're going to place the Santa TV man right here. On wave 2, you're going to place another one right in front of that. And by wave 3, you can place your final Santa. In fact, you can also upgrade one to level 2 on wave 3. On wave 4, you can upgrade another two farms to level 2. And then on wave 5, you can place a mewing TV right here. By wave 6, you're going to place another mewing right here. And if you're quick enough, you should be able to get a Santa TV man before it skips to wave 7. And on wave 7, you're going to upgrade it to level 4. You can also sell that mewing right there because you don't need it anymore. And on wave 8, you can upgrade another 2 to level 3. By wave 9, you can upgrade both of them to level 4. And by wave 10, you're going to want to get it to level 2. On wave 11, you're going to want to get 2 Santas to level 5. And by wave 12, you're going to get 1 to level 6. On wave 13, you're going to get your mewing TV to level 3. And by wave 14, you're going to get your first farm to level 7. On wave 15, you can get your next two farms to level 6. And on wave 16, you can upgrade one of them to level 7. By wave 17, you can get your final farm to level 7. And by wave 18, you can max it out. By wave 19, you can max out your next Santa. And by wave 20, you can get your Mewing TV to level 4. And finally, on wave 21, you can max out your last farm. On wave 22, you're going to want to max out your Mewing TV. And now you can start the Hyper Placements. On wave 24, you're going to want to get 6 in a row just like this. And then you're also going to want to get an Astro right here. And then another one right next to it right here. Get this one to level 2. That way you can get a Hyper right here. And then you can also get another Hyper right here. You're going to place your DJ TV facing this way right here. And then you're also going to get a Mewing TV right on top of it. And you can max both of these out. You can also sell your Mewing TV that you placed in the front over here. That way you can place a Leprechaun Cameraman right here. You can start by maxing out both of these Astros right here. And you're going to keep this one on strongest. And then this one on first. First. And yeah, by about wave 42, you can max out this Astro. And now you can start by maxing out this front Hyper right here. So that's what I'm going to do now. On wave 48, you can max out this first Hyper. And then you can start working on this one right here. By wave 53, you can max out your second one. And now you can start on this one in this corner right here. By wave 59, you can max out your third Hyper. And now you can start working on this one right here. By wave 65, you can max out your fourth Hyper. And now you can start working on this one right here and by wave 70 you can max out your fifth hyper and now you can start working on this one right here on wave 75 you can max out your next hyper and now you can start working on this one right here by wave 80 you can max out your seventh hyper and now you can start upgrading this one right here by wave 85 you can max it out and now you're going to want to start upgrading this one right here. By wave 90, you can max it out. And you're going to have to do something a little bit tricky, so get ready. You're going to want to sell your Mewing TV for this. But yeah, basically what I did is I placed a Leprechaun on this side right about here. And then after the Broken Heart got stunned, I placed another one behind it right about here to permanently stun it. On wave 104, you're going to want to turn off Auto Skip. And this is also the wave that you can max out your final Hyper. And now you're going to skip from wave 106 all the way to 109. You can also sell one of your Santas to start stun baiting a little until wave 107 pops out with these glitches right here. So yeah, once the glitches are around here, I'll sell my Leprechaun. And yeah, I'll just sell it right now and I'll replace it over here until they come again. And yeah, now I'll sell it again. 
And now that we've 109 spawned in, I'm gonna turn off auto skip and just continue stun baiting for a little bit. And you can also set everything to strongest to speed this up a little bit. And now that everything's around 10 million, I'm gonna skip from 110 all the way to 112. And now that we're on wave 112, I'm gonna turn off auto skip for a little bit. And yeah, for now you can just continue stun baiting for a little bit. And once the pumpkins are at 90 million health each, you're gonna wanna turn on auto skip just temporarily to get to wave 113. And you're actually gonna wanna set back to first to kill the skeletons. And now all the frost that are at 10 mil, I'm gonna skip to 114. On 114, once it's only the glitches that die, you're good to set everything back to strongest. And you're also good to sell your two Santas in the back to place two more Hypers down. And you're gonna place one right here, and then another right here. As long as they're both in DJ and Leprechaun range, it's fine. But yeah, once the DJ is around 20 million health, you're good to skip to 115. And then you can also do 115 and 116 at the same time. Just make sure you keep everything on strongest and continue stun baiting like what I'm doing right now. And yeah, you can just continue stun baiting for the rest of this match. And 117 will start automatically. And then once everything's around 8 million health, you're good to skip to 118. And then turn off auto skip as soon as you do that. And once all of these DJs are around 25 million health, you're gonna wanna set everything back to first. And yeah, now that everything's almost dead, I'm just gonna skip right now. On 119, you're just gonna wanna mass stun bait. And once everything's pretty much low, you're good to skip to 120 as well. And for 120, you're good to just continue stun baiting as always. And yeah, if you're doing good, the Astro should die around here. Once this giant turkey is around 10 million health, I'm gonna skip to 121 for these glitches. And yeah, that was literally perfect timing because now all these hypers are targeting these glitch toilets. And yeah, once all these glitch toilets are almost dead, I'm gonna set everything back to strongest. And once all these pumpkins and DJs are around 10 million health, I'm gonna skip to 122. So yeah, that was another perfectly timed skip. They died right around here and now everything else is spawning in. And as always, you're just gonna continue stun baiting. And now that all these pumpkins are around 30 million health, I'm gonna set everything back to first. And yeah, now that these quad rockets are around 20 million health, I'm gonna skip to 124. And now that these turkeys are about 65 million health, I'm gonna skip to 125. This wave is a bunch of spam, but you wanna set to strongest. And yeah, once these DJs are around 10 million or 15 million health, you're good to skip to 126. There is two glitches that you have to watch out for, but they should end up dying to AoE. And on 126, you just wanna constantly stun bait them. And yeah, every one of these pumpkins should die around here, so I'm gonna set everything back to first now. So yeah, for 127, you wanna set everything back to first, and then you're also gonna wanna mass stun bait this way. You wanna get rid of this rocket shield toilet in the front as soon as possible, because it's the most annoying toilet in the game. Well, actually, behind glitches, of course. So yeah, unfortunately that shield made it so there's two groups of smooth toilets. But honestly, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. This wave is pretty easy. And yeah, once they're all around this much HP, you're good to skip to 128. 128 just has a bunch of spam, so yeah, this wave is really easy. This wave dies way quicker, as you can tell. So once everything's around this much health, I'm gonna skip to 129. And I've actually never been this far in the game, so yeah, this is a ton of skeleton toilets and a ton of these phantom toilets. I'm a little bit nervous. Actually, these phantom toilets died really quickly. This was pretty easy. Yeah, there's only one with about 5 million health, and we got all of them. Let's go. Now all that's left is these skeleton toilets, and these should die pretty easily. I am gonna do a late skip though, cause 130 is really tough. So yeah, I'll probably skip once the last skeleton toilet's around 5 million health. Again, you really do not want to skip early on this wave or else you're literally so cooked. So yeah, right about now is when I'm gonna skip. And wave 130 has one of the toughest bosses in the game, the rabid rabid toilet. This thing stuns units for two minutes at a time, which is absolutely insane. So yeah, I'm really hoping I can beat this wave. Purple almost lost to it when he was doing his match, so I'm hoping I can do a little bit better. 
So yeah, please make sure you mass stun bait. If you don't, you're literally done for. In fact, I think I'm gonna set everything to strongest, even though purple told me not to. Everything is low enough to the point to where it'll just die to AoE anyways, so I'm good for this wave. So yeah, now it's around 250 million health. Wish me luck, guys. And whatever you do, do not let it stun your DJ TV man. If it stuns your DJ TV man, you might as well give up. Yeah, thankfully it's only stunning my Leprechaun, which is the best case scenario. In fact, as you play this round, you're good to set everything to weakest, because that's what you're going to need to set for on the next wave. Obviously, only set to weakest once it's only the Rabid Toilet. Oh my god, I am so nervous right now, guys. You don't even realize. Alright, I'm going to place a Leprechaun over there, and then I'm also going to replace my Mewing TV to make sure it continues to stun it. In fact, I'm also going to sell a Hyper that's easy to replace just to get some extra AoE in. And I'm going to continue selling and replacing my Mewing as well. And I'm also going to sell and replace my Astro as well to keep it from speeding up too much. And I'm going to use my extra cash ability to make sure I do not lose this round at all costs. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to sell another Hyper just to get more AoE in. I am making sure I'm not losing this wave at all costs. Oh my god, I just beat 130, guys. Let's go. I'm actually shaking right now, bro. This is insane. And you're going to want to auto-skip to 132. Please make sure you do that or else you will lose. I'm also going to replace this Hyper real quick and get it to level 4. And now I'm just gonna continue stun baiting as always to make sure I win. Oh my god, I literally forgot to place my mewing back. Let me max it out right now. I'm really hoping that doesn't throw my game. You need to get 100% complete for 132 or else you lose. So yeah, the number is going up a ton right now. It's at 34, 40, 51. Oh my god, it's going up. Let's go. 66% complete. We only have a little bit more to go until we win. In fact, I'm pretty sure once these beret rocket launcher toilets die, we beat this wave. Alright, we're at 74% now. 77, 80, 83, 86, 89, 91. In fact, I'm just gonna auto skip. Who cares, bro? I'm turning on auto skip. I don't even care anymore. Let's sell everything to get an even better time as well. I'm selling everything because we're about to be wave 133. Let's go. Just kidding, obviously. We're getting 132. And in fact, here comes the glitch that's gonna make us lose the round. Here we go. In three. Two, one, zero. We lost. Let's go. So yeah, we got wave 132 in 104 minutes and 43 seconds. And that puts me at the number two spot right behind purple. Let's go. And even my friend Reflex is number three. This is a big W. So yeah, this is definitely by far the best strategy for endless mode. So if you enjoyed this, definitely leave a like and subscribe as I just got you on the leaderboard for absolutely free. And if you want more tutorials like this, I can even try to get a sub 100 minute run on this mode. But yeah, this is crazy. Number two on the leaderboard. And that's it from me. Peace out, everybody.